Hello everybody and welcome back to I Am Fish. My name is of course Constantine and as you all know in the last episode we actually finished the game. We just managed to escape into the ocean once again but this time finally we did not get caught anymore. But apparently there is a bonus level, something that some people may not know about, but something that uh, I did not manage to get inside it sooner because I did not manage to get all the breads in the levels. So I had to go back, try to collect every single one of the breads so that now, now that we got them, we can actually go ahead and check out the bonus level. So that being said guys, thank you all very much for watching this entire I Am Fish series here. Uh, you guys have been absolutely killing it because you've been really, really enjoying the series so far. And I'm going to try to bring more fun videos just like this one in the future. And that being said, sit back, relax, and uh, let's just see what the bonus level is all about. Let's do this. Because apparently we're going into the Benashire Space Agency. That's gonna be pretty epic. Oh, no way! Ah, oh, no way, we are in an aquarium. In a freaking spaceship. In space already, are you kidding me? I didn't really think we we're gonna be in space. I thought we we're gonna be on Earth, maybe just about to launch on space, but by the looks of it, that is not a thing. Now, what is happening here? It looks like this doorway has been broken. Uh, hold up, I think we can actually break this. Can I? Uh. Huh. Hmm, something's wrong. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me try something. Uh, can I bite this? I gotta try to bite something, I guess, eh? Because we are playing... Oh, never mind. I just noticed that we can control every single one of the fishies. Not just the piranha. So maybe the piranha is going to be stuck in here for now. Unless, or I should say, until I'm going to do something else with somebody else. So let me switch to the goldfish, I guess. Aha. Uh -huh. So the goldfish is also kind of stuck. And he's probably going to be released by the piranha. Because there are some uh, red spots over here that we're going to be able to interact with. And other than this, the goldfish is also stuck, unfortunately. Oh, look at that one. That pipe seems to be kind of broken. Why would you make glass pipes? What the heck? Is that even a good thing? <laughs> oh, and these two guys, apparently they're together. And the reason these two guys are together, of course, uh, it's pretty easy. <laughs> look at the uh, flying fish looking at Earth. Hey, buddy. Are you good? What's up with you? Alright, so the reason we have these two guys together is because we got to raise up some platforms. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot raise that one up. But I'm pretty sure we can raise this one up, right? Yep, just like that. Alright, and this raised up the platform for the piranha. Alright, there we go. We got them all together. Now we can use the piranha to break this open. Perfect. So apparently we got to make our way to save the goldfish. He's going to be the only one so far that's kind of stuck and uh, unable to exit. Now, I'm not quite sure if I do remove this... The puffer fish is going to be stuck in here, right? Hmm. Interesting. I mean, this is where... Oh, never mind. It's not going to be stuck in there because we got to go this way, not the other way. Never mind. All right, puffer fish, you can let that go and come on over right over here. All right, so uh, by the looks of it, we are going to have to turn around some wheels here, right? Or do I have to break these? Oh, never mind. We got to break these open. Hmm. Why is there two of them? Come on. All right, I also see a chick one over here that we can go ahead and grab. Perfect. Oh my god, I love it how these things are floating. Not because, not only that we are in underwater, of course, but also we are in space. I wonder why this is happening, though. Why do they have such a huge aquarium in space? This is so weird. I mean, maybe this is not even an aquarium after all. Maybe this is just uh, them using water to try to cool the spaceship down. I don't even know. But of course, it does feel like this has been... Uh, something happened. It overflowed with water, I guess. Come on, buddy. Let it go. What the? <laughs> Why is the thing flowing here? Come on, dude. Get out. Or did I just manage to open that up? Oh, I think I just managed to open it up by turning the wheel. Yes, that's what I did. Can I still turn it, though? I mean, you can turn it that way. Piranha, you're turning it the wrong way, buddy. Hold up. This way. That's what I want you to do. And again, more. And more pressure. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. You know what? Let's just go in the pipe and see what it's going to take me to. Oh! What? 
Are you kidding me? There's bubbles of water. And of course, we gotta make sure we uh, go to them if we don't wanna just suffocate here. Wow, this is so epic. Oh no, I'm kinda floating in the wrong side now. No, go in the bubble. Ah, dang it, we messed up. All right, all right. That is pretty epic though. That is freaking epic. All right, let me try to open this up by uh, getting get some pressure here. Man, that is so cool though that we have to use the bubbles, the bubbles of water. It's really, really epic. And I'm pretty sure we gotta use the piranha because he's gonna be the one that's gonna be able to bind that. Oh god, don't get out of it, please. Not just yet. Uh, he's gonna be the one that's gonna have to bite off that thing in order to release the uh, goldfish, right? Ooh, there we go, there we go. We made it, we made it, made it. Perfect. So now if I bite this. Ah, there we go. So we released one hatch. And it's gonna be the second hatch. The thing is, he's getting he's still gonna be stuck in that platform over there. So I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna fix this. Hmm. Also, I'm kinda scared a little bit here to sit in this. Oh! Hold on a minute. I think what I'm supposed to do is use the goldfish to hit that thing to fill up this place with water, right? Ooh! It works! It works! We create another bubble! But the thing is, uh, we don't have to really be worried about this one because um, the goldfish is going to be safe either way, right? Yeah, because he is in a water bubble inside this thing. All I gotta do though is try to make sure I break more of these to release more water bubbles. Let me see if I can get more speed to break this open. It's not working. The heck? Let me try it again. It's really not that easy though. What? It's not breaking. Hmm. Well, at least we got one bubble over there. Let's try it again. And there we go. Yet another bubble. And the reason we're doing this one thing, I think we have to bring all of the fishies through them. Yeah, yeah there we go. We got it. Oh, that was so cool. All right, uh, let me leave the goldfish in here for now, as I'm going to try to bring the rest of them as well. So, we got the floating fishy. I'm going to leave him right over here for now. Let me make my way with the piranha. Oh, God. We got to make sure we don't go uh, overshoot here. Because you cannot really control as we are in uh, out of the bubble, the way we're going. And I do see what I got to do with the piranha. I just got to go ahead and pull this over. Or maybe pull it down. Man, this is really epic though. I really didn't know what to expect here and I kind of messed up though. No, 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 no. Piranha, go down. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dang it. Alright, and we're back with the Piranha. Uh, I kind of messed up there because I didn't go through the checkpoint and I had to do this all over again by the looks of it. But now I'm going to go straight through the checkpoint to make sure. Ooh, I didn't I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I have to go with the Goldfish, not with the Piranha. Go back, buddy. Go back in the bubble. There we go. There we go. You got to sit here for a while and let the Goldfish do its thing. And while we do that, let me try to bring all the rest of them as well so that they're all going to be together. I'm pretty sure we got to bring all of them, right? Hopefully. Alright, so let's see. Next up we got this fella. I didn't even see this bubble. But this is making it so much easier to get here. There we go. So we got that. And next up we gotta bring the puffer fish. Now, I know for sure there's gonna be bread pieces around here that we gotta find as well. So I'm not quite sure exactly where these are gonna be located. I'm never gonna have to start looking for them. And uh, try to get them, uh, try to collect them all. Alright, next up we gotta use the goldfish again to make more water bubbles. Wait, that didn't work. I hate it when it's not breaking, but uh, I am hitting it. Look at that. Come on. Let's get more speed. And smash. There we go. Perfect. So that worked. Next up we got another bubble. Do we? Oh yeah, we got another bubble right here at the bottom. Let me try to smash this one as well. There we go, we got another one. And next up, we gotta break this open and see what we got here. Hmm. 
We got a lot of bubbles. Ooh, and a piece of bread. And of course, the only one that can grab the piece of bread at the moment is the golden fish. There we go. Our first, very first piece of bread. Um, hmm. So I think we gotta make our way to the top here, but I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to uh, open these hatches up. I may need the piranha over here yet yeah, to try to maybe turn this around. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I said there's a water bubble over there, right? I th think at least. Yeah, it is. And uh, this one has been removed from it. All right, well, in that case, you know what? Let me just grab all the rest of my guys to try to make it to uh, the next location. We did get the checkpoint over there, so we should be good. No, no, don't go like that. I want you to go straight up like that. Oh my god. The speed you're getting, though, when you're going through space, if you keep on going up, pushing forward, it's really cool. Alright, let me bring the rest of them as well. There we go, and ultimately push. I mean, look at this. You're getting so much speed. It's crazy. This game has been really gorgeous, though. It's not, of course, the most impressive graphics speaking, but uh, pretty good, nevertheless. I really enjoy it. All right, I think I'm going to go with the piranha. Try to make my way through that hole just to see what it's going to... Oh, God, I missed. How could I miss that hole? Come on, game. <laughs> no. Let's just try it this way, I guess. Oh, there we go. Now it worked. Aha. Uh -huh. I get it. Now, the problem is the goldfish cannot cross through there, so I'm guessing we gotta release the hatches at the top in order for the golden fish to also join, right? So let me see if that's a thing. Yep, we definitely gotta go to the top. Oh god, I hit some walls! No! Come on, piranha! Ah, there we go, there we go. <laughs> we almost didn't make it. This is pretty epic. You kind of got to try to sit in the middle if you don't want to hit any walls. Oof. Oof. This is getting so fast. All right, and I see the platform that I'm supposed to bite. The problem is... I'm going to go just with biting this one because this one is... Oh, never mind. You don't have to bite it. What I got to do is push it. Ah, and the problem is... I messed up. All right, and we're back. Now, let me try this one more time. So, what I'm trying to do here, uh, as I was saying, let me just push this thing all the way that way. And because I did that, now I'm pretty sure that the golden fish can actually push this hatch. Uh, what I also want to do here is make my way to this bubble so that the piranhas are not going to get pushed as the golden fish is going to make its way up. Let me see now if I can push this with the golden fish. Yes, we can. I knew it. So that's what I had to do. All right. Let me also go ahead and grab the piece of bread right over here in the chair. What's really curious is that there's nobody around, though, which makes it really, really um, strange. So we do have some buttons that we got to press. Oh, you know what? I see one button over here. There's one button all the way to that side, but I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm going to get there. I'm pretty sure that we got to use again. The golden fish, yeah, look at that. To so go all the way up here in order to get to that button because he's the only one that can actually stay out. Yes, look at this. He's the only one that can actually push this out. Interesting. Oh, man, there's so many buttons that I got to press, though. All right, hold up. Before the golden fish is going to float away in space because he's outside right now. Uh, let me make sure he's going to go down here. Uh, let me also grab these fillers and try to get him to the top as well. Uh, I think we can actually use... Yeah, I think we can actually use this bubble over here to do it. And simply float up. So we don't have to go through the uh, same puzzle that the piranha went to. Alright, so we got this one, right? The problem, there's a button over there that only, again, only the golden fish can press. Let me just make it to this one and press and see what it's going to do. So this is not doing anything. I think we got to bring power and then use all the rest of the fishies to just keep on pushing buttons, right? Let me try that. So first of all, let me go to the top. Here we go. 
And I kind of want to get... Um, this fella to go here, I guess, and wait so that we can press this button. Because if I press it now... Uh, I don't think anything happens. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I don't think anything happens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure nothing happens. Uh, let me just go with the goldfish. Let's see what we got to do here. So... Hmm. Oh my god. Can we actually float away from the spaceship so that we can see? Look at this. We also found a piece of bread all the way to the back of the spaceship. Ooh, and one in front of it. Wait, what? What do you mean I died? Am I not eating a bottle of water here? Seriously? Wait, how do I grab that then, if it's not allowing me to grab it? Oh, you know what? Maybe I cannot sit in space way too long. Maybe I've been leaving uh, the goldfish here for too long. So maybe I gotta go and grab some oxygen. And then try it again. Dang it. So, it's not really letting me have that one for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright, let me press this then. So there's one button. There's another button over here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's no other buttons around. Uh, let me just first of all grab this piece of bread. And make it back because I do not want to die here again. I really wish I could understand how to grab that piece of bread, though. Alright, never mind. So that's not gonna work. Um, we did manage to activate these buttons, right? We got this one and we got this one at the bottom here. Come on, can I get it? Come on. Alright, there we go. So this one is done. Next up, I believe we gotta make our way back, maybe. Where's the hatch? Yeah, we definitely have to get back through the hatch because we're gonna have a, quite a bit of buttons that we gotta press still. And the goldfish is gonna be the one that's gonna have to press one of them. So I'm gonna have to press this one right over here to probably launch it, right? Yeah, I don't even know, but first of all, we need uh, this button pressed. Wait, what's happening? That is interesting. So we're closing down the hatches over there. I get it. I feel like that's how I'm supposed to maybe get the goldfish to survive here. Once I'm gonna grab, as soon as I grab that piece of bread, next up I just gotta close the hatches down. And probably the uh, goldfish is gonna have oxygen. That was interesting. All right, well that one is done. Next up, where's the floaty fish? Oh, this guy is all the way up here. Is there a button down there or? It is not. I don't even know what I'm doing in here, though. Oh, there is a hatch that I'm sup supposed to open up by the looks of it. And I think I'm... Actually, no, we can do this. Never mind. Never mind. Huh. So we got that switch. Interesting. Um, let me try to make my way back here. And back to... Come on, fishy. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Push. <laughs> there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. And finally, I think we got to press on this button over here. Just like that. And press. I don't know what this button is doing, though. It's so strange. Uh, what about this one, then? Hmm. I mean, nothing's happening, though. Uh, close cargo bay doors and flip the override switch. Hold override button. We got to hold the override button. I wonder which one is the override button, though. 
Uh, come on. Hmm. Oh, we gotta hold it. So is this holding it? Oh, look at that. Final phase. Press the autopilot button. There we go. We're done. Ultimately, all we gotta do is just press this button. Come on. There we go. Are we actually entering back the atmosphere, making our way back home? No way we did. There we go. Unfortunately, we did not manage to collect all the bread pieces. Uh, I know exactly where two of them are, but uh, the thing is, grabbing these two pieces outside of the cargo ship, it's really not easy. But look at that, we managed to fly back into the atmosphere with all of them. That has been really cool. Of course, I am going to go back into this one trying to collect all the bread pieces because uh, it hasn't really been that easy to collect all of them. Uh, at least I know where two of them are, but I have no idea where the last third one is located at. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to check that one out and post a video about it. But that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching the bonus level here of I Am Fish. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And of course, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you all next time soon. Bye, everybody.